వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ ఎం గురు మైనమ్ ఈజ్ మహేష్ కుమార్ సీనియర్ ఐటి మ్యాథ్స్ లెక్చర్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అ చాప్టర్ కాల్ లోకస్ సి యా వన్ ద వర్డ్ లోకస్ కమ్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ అండ్ ద ఫోర్ మోస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ కమ్స్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఈస్ లోకస్ యా టుడే we are going to see what is locus with the beautiful examples right yeah come on let us go for the first example first suppose first suppose you are at your home and moving to your college somewhere else here right the road towards from your home to college is just like this and uh, how you travel you travel from your home to college in a such a way right so here you have traveled from your home to college now the locus means the path which you traveled the path which you travel from your home to college is nothing but locus right it's very simple i think you got the point right so what we have taken we have taken a route map from home to college and the path which we travel from home to college is called as locus see let us go for one more example suppose this is a cow which is tied to a, with a rope to a tree yeah something like some animal is there so which is moving which is moving uh, around the tree like this right now here this is center where the particular animal is tied and the animal moving in this particular direction so here the animal which is moved in a path is also called locus see in this example we have taken a particular animal the animal which is moved in a particular way the path which animal is moved is also locus yeah so these are the general examples now i'm coming to the mathematical example now let us see here one more example which is third example now till now i didn't given the definition of locus now after this example i'm going to reveal what is locus right so here what we said the path which it travel from home to college or the cow which moved around a tree is called locus and come into a third example which is related to mathematic right suppose let us take there are two points a b on a plane and uh, a b is a line segment right now the question is the point which is equidistant to a b so how many points are there equidistant to a b there may be certain many points which are equidistant to a b right so if we join all those point towards a b so what it means so this distance is equal and uh, so this distance is equal so this distance is equal right so the question is the point which is equidistant to a b similarly here also so these distances are equal these distances are equal these distances are equal 
right so here what we have done we have taken we have taken that a uh, line segment a b having equidistant points now how many points are there there are infinitely many points in case if we join all those points so it forms a straight line so this straight line is called as perpendicular bisector why perpendicular bisector because this line l is perpendicular to ab as well as having bisector so that so this is called perpendicular bisector so here this perpendicular bisector is also locus now now i am going to reveal the definition of locus see what we said the path which we travel from home to college or animal which moved around the tree or a line which is formed of ab having equal distance i am saying these are all locus now come to the definition the definition is the definition is the set of points the set of points the set of points which satisfies given geometrical condition is called locus i repeat the set of points the set of points the set of points which satisfies geometrical condition is called locus right now the locus may be a curve the locus may be a circle the locus may be a straight line or locus may be any geometrical figure right i think it's clear one more final time i'm giving the definition so locus means the set of points which satisfies the given geometrical condition is called as locus and one thing remember that locus might be a straight line locus might be a circle locus might be a curve or locus might be a any geometrical figure